Hi everybody, my name is Joe Kay and welcome to another day in the underground. Today I'm going to be talking about promo pages. I have come across a multitude of different kind of promo pages. Some of them run by rappers, some of them run by labels, some of them run by hip hop fans. Now the best out of the three is going to be the one that is ran by the hip hop fan. Because there's going to be no selfish motives behind what or who they're promoting. They have one objective. More than likely it's to share great hip hop music or slash and to make money. Uh, right around the time of the uh, Don't Funk Up Our Beats contest, there were a lot of pages that just kind of emerged out of nowhere. Uh, they partnered with Funk Volume and they were able to grow at a very rapid pace. Some of them uh, did great and they kept the ball rolling and some of them kind of dove off the deep end into the abyss of nothingness and are no longer around or no longer really promoting anybody or they maybe turned into a label or they just switched their name completely and turned it into an artist page. Whatever the case may be, there are very few promo pages out there right now that are still of any relevance. One of them being Underground on Top. Now I know a lot of you guys have probably already heard of them before. Um, I heard about them two years ago back when I was doing my Don't Funk Up Our Beats contest. I ran across them. They've been nothing but awesome to me. They really try to get people as much exposure as they possibly can. Some people take advantage of it and some people don't at all. I was one of those people that took advantage of every opportunity that I had. Underground on Top was one of those opportunities. I also worked with him on a business level where money actually did change hands and, and I paid for promotion for I believe it was five or seven weeks. It was one of the packages they were running. Facebook was booming. You know the Facebook pages were doing great and right now it's kind of on the decline for a lot of pages. Underground on Top has still been able to keep its relevance and still been able to give artists that extra boost and exposure that they're more than likely looking for. Now the question comes into play of how much money should an artist pay for promotion? There's no right or wrong answer to this, but I can tell you that there's a lot of smaller pages around that 5,000 like mark with no activity that are trying to charge $35 you know, for a month of, of promotion. And quite frankly, it's a waste of your money. Don't go running over to SMG who has absolutely no buzz going on their Facebook and expect to get good results because it's more than likely not going to happen for that price. Does that mean that SMG can't charge people for promotion on their page? No, absolutely not. It needs to be on the right scale. And what I mean by that is if they only have, you know, five, six, seven thousand likes, however many likes they have, but they're only getting maybe five to ten people that are consistently active on the page, it's not worth the $35 investment. Especially when you can go to Underground on Top and get a three month promo package for $60. I'm not saying you necessarily need to pay these people for promotion every time you want something shared because most of the time if you're polite, if you're understanding and you are patient, they will more than likely share your song for free. Not all the time, but most of the time, they'll give you a couple shares here and there for absolutely nothing. All right, they're not a bunch of money hungry people that are charging for every single song that they post on their on their page. I believe Underground on Top right now is right around that 20,000 like mark. Uh, they're really kind of at the sweet spot as far as Facebook goes to be able to charge because they're getting that activity still. It's not just about the number of likes, it's mostly about the amount of activity that they're getting on their page and they have still been able to keep up that activity despite what Facebook has done and completely screwed every single single page on Facebook. Underground on Top is also run by a hip hop fan. Yeah, they have their flaws. They help manage the rapper. I don't hold it against them. With that being said, it was always in the back of my mind when I heard that they were starting to kind of dabble in managing artists, that they were no longer going to be a promo page, that they were just going to start strictly promoting their artists and use the fan base that they were able to gather and convert that into more of like a label type atmosphere, which, you know, honestly hasn't been the case. Yeah, they promote E, yeah, they promote a couple other artists that they're helping manage, but they haven't taken away from the underground community as a whole. I definitely have to give it to them in that regard. They've really stuck true uh, to their roots and what they've been trying to do since day one, and, and I have no complaints in that regard. There are other pages out there that consistently do bad business. Not following through with artists, it's not conducting good business ethics. When you say you're going to do something, you need to actually do it, because as a promo page, an artist page, anything, if you're not following through with what you say you're going to do, 
people are going to start to talk and the word is going to get out there. It's one of the reasons why me personally, I cannot tell the people that are watching this video to go do business with a page like SMG. And I know who's done good business and who's done completely crappy business. Underground on Top has always done great business with me. When you're starting out as an artist, I think using a page like Underground on Top to get your music out there is a great investment. When I did it, I gained about 100 likes on my Facebook page, which right now, 100 likes on your Facebook page pretty much means nothing because, let's face it, Facebook pages are going down the crapper real quick. I was still able to gain fans from that experience. I was able to make a lot of good connections with artists, and I was able to, most importantly, get people to hear my music and buy my music. I think it was one of the better choices that I've made, especially coming up as an artist and not really having much of a buzz. It was a great thing for me. Now, it may not be a great thing for you because... Maybe you've already been interacting on Underground on Top. Maybe you've done promotion in the past. I would highly recommend you space out your promotion because there's only going to be a certain amount of people that are going to keep active on pages. Whether it's Underground on Top or anywhere else, you're only going to be able to tap into the people that are active on that page the majority of the time. So spacing out your promotion is going to be a great idea because if you just keep paying for promotion for a year straight, it's going to probably dive off. Uh, after that two to three month mark. So if you've decided that paying for promotion to get your music heard through Underground on Top is something that you want to do, I highly recommend you do it. Um, they're running a promo right now where it's normally $60 for about three months of promotion on there. They'll share you, I believe, once a day, anything you want shared, SoundCloud, Reverb Nation, YouTube, a, you know, a song, your Facebook page, whatever the case may be, they will promote that for you for one status a day for three months. For $60. If you're watching this video, use promo code UOT on top and they're going to give you a discount. It's only going to be $40 for that three month promotion package. If you'd like one of these awesome underground on top t shirts, they're only $20. You can hit them up on their Facebook, send them a message, say, hey, I uh, just watched Joe K's video. I want to get one of the t-shirts. He said you're selling them for 20 bucks. They'll send those out to you uh, fairly quickly. They're very high quality, great t-shirts. I've already put it through the wash a couple times to make sure that I'm not promoting something that's complete crap. So you can rest assured that your, your t-shirt's going to be great, great quality. If you have any questions, any comments, feel free to drop them below. Uh, just so you guys know, I did not get paid for this. I am by no means partnered with UOT in any way. I chose to do this because I actually do believe in Underground on Top and what they do uh, for artists in the underground. So if you have any, any questions, any comments, if you have any experiences working with Underground on Top or any other promo page for that matter, uh, feel free to drop Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear about them. If you have any grievances with any promo pages, feel free to let me know so that I can let the rest of the world know who not to do business with. I've already told you guys, don't mess with SMG. Underground on top, magic. Thank you all for watching. My name's Joe K. It's just another day in the underground. See you next time.